Yeah. Seeing as there are no questioners, <laughs> seeing as I was a speech and negation, we'll offer the speakers a speech and Mr. Miami, you have the floor to vote. All right. Um, may I ask Senator for, uh, Nestor what our school code is? Um, the first two things. Okay. All right, school code E. That is Myman, M Y M A N. Just a quick reminder, Representative, not Senator. Oh, okay. Uh, is everyone ready? My older brother Josh and I have always had this interesting relationship, to say the least. You see, one day, at the sultry on one sultry summer day, at the tender age of five, I sat down to eat a juicy piece of watermelon. And this was when Josh noticed that I had accidentally swallowed a seed. So, being the good brother he is, he then told me that a watermelon was going to grow in my stomach and that I should see a doctor immediately. Little did my five-year-old self know that guys don't just grow melons. But, you see, this, just as I worried about a watermelon growing in my stomach, I feel a pit of fear worrying if we negate this bill, that it will plant a bad seed in our beautiful country's stomach. We can see why we must affirm this bill and not impregnate our country with a bad <coughs> seed for two key reasons. First, because I adore corn, and second, because of a haiku by Mark the Shark. Now, to begin, we must affirm this bill because of my love for corn. Now, we can see that corn has been burned because of the surplus and of the over-farming. However, we must, there is a simple solution to this problem. We must simply, instead of burning the corn and killing a valuable resource, we must instead simply love it and eat it. <laughs> now, I do adore corn because of its taste, because it is so versatile, and we can use this in many more forms in order to help our country. Next, esteemed congressmen, we can finally turn to the point of the haiku from Mark the Shark Ranger. I would like to present a haiku. America is the most fair. No other country is compared. We need to care. For our farmers, to give them the flare. To survive the economy, and we need to secure our future for our children. XOXO gossip. <laughs> okay, dramatic pause is over. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that speech of two minutes and fourteen seconds. While all questioners now stand, uh, Mr. Sirot. Thank you. You talk about how you adore corn, but wouldn't ending these subsidies actually give you less corn? No, because we're cur we currently have a surplus with these subsidies, and instead we could just post the solution of simply not burning it and eating. Mr. Uh, did your haiku follow the, the proper program? No, it did not, but I did it for the emotional impact, and I feel that that is the most important part, the impact on our conference. Thank you. We are burning corn for ethanol, and helping with that ethanol to fuel cars, wouldn't you say that with a cleaner energy, it will be actually converted back for corn? Well, I have a returning question. Are you from France? No, you're from Montreal. <laughs> you're a little bit of because you cannot ask questions to the questioners. Uh, oh. Okay, thank you. Um, are you sure that your high school was written by Mark Rinder and not Michael Tudlone? No, the, this, it was definitely written by Mark the Shark Rinder. Thank you. Promise. Seeing as there are only five seconds, it's five seconds left in question time, and the chair will for the remainder of that time, and the speaker can have a seat. Motion. Uh, right to front.